Hello, welcome to our short video on how to design a non-inverting microphone preamplifier circuit. This schematic represents a non-inverting microphone preamplifier circuit. The design uses a non-inverting amplifier circuit configuration to amplify the microphone's output signal. The circuit AC couples the input signal and provides a bias voltage to bias up the input signal to the op amps mid supply. High pass and low pass filters are used throughout the circuit to reduce the total noise of the system. This video explains how to design the circuit using TI's TLV6741 in a few easy steps. The design goal for this circuit is to produce a maximum output voltage of 1.228 volts RMS for an input pressure level to the microphone of 100 dB SPL. The circuit uses a single 5 volt supply. The frequency response deviation at 20 Hz is negative 0.5 dB and at 20 kHz is negative 0.1 dB. The first design step is to convert the sensitivity of the microphone to an output current. We will use the information about the microphone parameters to make this conversion. To convert the sensitivity of the microphone to an output current, the first step is to convert the sensitivity to volts per pascal. This is done by taking 10 raised to the sensitivity, which is negative 35 dB, divided by 20. Using this equation, we get 17.78 millivolts per pascal. Next is to convert volts per pascal to current per pascal. This is done by dividing volts per pascal by the impedance of the microphone, which is 2.2 kiloohms. Here we get 8.083 microamps per pascal. The last step in the conversion is to multiply the current per pascal by the maximum pressure of two pascals. This gives us a maximum output current of the microphone I max to be 16.166 microamps. The next design step is to calculate the bias resistor R1, which biases the microphone's internal JFET transistor to achieve a bias current specified by the microphone. R1 is calculated by VCC minus VMIC divided by IS, where VMIC is the microphone's standard operating voltage and IS is the current consumption of the microphone. R1 is calculated to be 6 kilo ohms. Since 6 kilo ohms is not a standard resistor value, we will use the next closest value of 5.9 kilo ohms as shown in the schematic. Next, we need to set the amplifier's input common mode voltage to mid supply. This is done with the voltage divider created by R2 and R3. The equivalent resistance of R2 and R3, REQ, should be 10 times larger than R1 so a majority of the microphone's current flows through R1. We will select R2 and R3 to be 200 kiloohms. The next step is to calculate the maximum input voltage. This is dependent on the equivalent input resistance, Rn, and the maximum microphone output current. Rn is calculated as R1 in parallel to REQ. Rn is calculated as 5.571 kiloohms. Now we can calculate the maximum input voltage Vn, which is calculated as I max times Rn. Vn is calculated as 90.067 millivolts. Next, we will calculate the gain required to produce a maximum output voltage swing. The gain is calculated as the maximum output voltage, V out max, divided by the input voltage, Vn. We calculate the gain as 13.634 volts per volt. The gain is set with the feedback resistors. R4 and R5, and is equal to 1 plus R5 over R4. Rearranging this equation to solve for R4, we see that R4 is equal to R5 divided by the gain minus 1. Selecting R5 as a 10 kilo ohm resistor, we calculate R4 as 791 ohms. Since 791 ohms is not a standard resistor value, we will use the next closest resistor value of 787 ohms as shown in the schematic. The next step is to calculate capacitors C1, C2, and C4 to set the high pass filter cutoff frequency. Since we want a maximum frequency response deviation of negative 0.5 dB at 20 Hz, we will use the equation of FC to calculate the cutoff frequency. In the equation, G pole 1 is the gain contribution by each pole at frequency F. Note that you have to divide 0.5 dB by 3 because there are three poles. 
the cutoff frequency is calculated to be 3.956 Hz. C1 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times REQ times FC and is calculated to be 0.402 microfarads. We will use the closest standard resistor value of 0.33 microfarads for this design. C2 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times R4 times FC and is calculated to be 51.121 microfarads. We will use the closest standard capacitor value of 47 microfarads for this design. C4 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times R6 times FC and is calculated to be 4.023 microfarads. We will use the closest standard capacitor value of 3.3 microfarads for this design. Lastly, we need to calculate the value for capacitor C3 to set the low pass filter cutoff frequency. This is calculated in a similar manner as the components to set the high pass filter cutoff frequency. To calculate a maximum frequency response deviation of negative 0.1 dB at 20 kHz, we need to use the equation for FP to calculate the pole location of the filter. FP is calculated to be 131.044 kHz. C3 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times R5 times FP and is calculated to be 121.451 picofarads. We will use the next closest standard capacitor value of 120 picofarads for this design. Running an AC sweep analysis, we find that the frequency response deviation at 20 Hz is negative 0.66 dB and at 20 kHz is negative 1.3 dB. This verifies the functionality of the circuit. A noise analysis of the circuit shows that the total noise at the output of the circuit is 22.39 microvolts RMS. When designing non-inverting microphone preamplifier circuits, there are a few design notes to be aware of. First, be sure to use low K capacitors and thin film resistors to help decrease distortion. Next, be sure to use a battery to power the circuit to eliminate distortion caused by switching power supplies. Finally, the common mode voltage is equal to the DC bias voltage set using the resistor divider plus any variation caused by the microphone output voltage. For op amps with a complementary pair input stage, it's recommended to keep the common mode voltage away from the crossover region to eliminate the possibility of crossover distortion. Texas Instruments has many online resources to help you design circuits with op amps. This includes reference designs and guides, educational videos, simulation and prototyping tools, support resources, and search tools. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short presentation on how to design a non-inverting microphone preamplifier circuit. Please visit ti.com for additional information and resources.